somebody mentioned on the call that this option has been under consideration for quite a few months, um, and that it only sort of resurfaced after the fall of Ramadi. What took so long if the Prime Minister was telling the President and the administration months and months ago that they needed uh, more training, um, an acceleration of equipment and weapons, and even more intelligence sharing? What took the administration so long to decide that this was a step you needed to take? And secondly, um, what is the timetable for retaking Ramadi now? Um, is it going to be the summer? Is it going to be the end of the year? And what about Mosul? I mean, this seems like a shift away from em emphasis there. And I wonder if you could just say what the White House or what the President would consider to be success in terms of the timetable for retaking those cities. Uh, Julie, w let me clarify the, 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 uh, the first part of the question that you asked. The President and his team uh, had been discussing the possibility of expanding the uh, advise and assist mission uh, into Takatam Air Base prior to uh, ISIL taking Ramadi. But it's the specific request that was received uh, from Prime Minister Abadi did not come until after the fall of Ramadi. Uh, and that was at the same time that uh, we we're considering a wide range of other things that could be done uh, to support the Iraqis. And um, so it's not as if uh, there was a situation where there were uh, a large number of uh, Iraqi requests that had been made by Prime Minister Abadi uh, that were not considered until after the fall of Ramadi. Uh, 